there welcome back to the node mcu module so in this topic we're gonna explain you that how we're gonna take our local server to an online server and for this we're gonna use a very popular app that is blink so what is blink all about blink is something like a an online server which has already made a server and whatever data we send to that server it will just connect those data to our local server that is our node mcu so this is the entire procedure what blink does so we're gonna download the blink app in our smartphone so let me show you how we will download it and what are the features of blink so now here i have already downloaded the blink here you could see blink I will open this blink and you will find it will take some certain time certain minutes to go here we have this screen and our in the screen we will log in with Facebook and I was already logged in so I'm logging in it and this is the screen this is my first project. I'm going to make a new project. Okay. This is uh, the project name, whatever I give over here. For example, I giving web. Web is my project name and ESP266. The theme is dark or light, whatever you want to set, you want to set it. I'm setting it light and then create. Done. This is the auth token. This is very important thing that it, it going to send to us in the mail ID, whatever mail ID we're going to give over there. This auth token is the key through which the board and the app both gets connected. So I'm putting OK. And when you put over here plus, these are the buttons. You have a charge over here, 1800. This is the balance what you have. And each of this has a, a cost. The buttons costing around 200, the style button 300. Similarly, the everything has a cost. So these are many things which are over here. There is LED, there is gauge, there is Twitter, email, notification, many things to be uh, taken off over here. These are wave hooks. So we're going to do nothing. We're going to put a button, for example, and this is the button. And then we will configure these buttons. We will uh, learn how to configure these buttons. This could be push, this could be switch. It could be zero, one or one, zero, whatever we write over here. The digital pins over here which pin we're going to choose, what board we're going to choose, everything we're going to select, we're going to text, name, color, everything we're going to change and we're going to take it. So everything is done. And this is an app and which works on internet. So whatever data we're going to send from here, it will automatically go to the board. There's a condition that the board should be connected to any of the internet and the phone should also be connected to an internet. After it gets connected, it will automatically do all the do things and it will switch on and switch off the light. So in the next module, the first topic will be based totally on how we control our home automation, home appliances through Blink ap application. Thank you for this video. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you.